Something, uh... So I saw a uh, dude uh, post all the stuff on the, 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 some audio suggestions. Apparently this is a theme of May theme, but... It made me, made me think about things. It made me fall quiet, like I do sometimes. I wonder about things. Now something, something, something got in my head that I really... Really feel like I gotta get off my chest before we can start this. VIDEO GAMES! There we go. Why is this a Dean's May theme? I'm pretty sure this is like one of the generic traveling songs you get. Um, so it's called Guitar. It's called Day 32. What is Day 32 again? God, I hate this. Um, view. No, sort by. Group by. Do I have to... No, it doesn't help. Um, day 32, does it, can it register these? Nope! That was basic... Yeah, it's basic guitar OGG. Uh, they sent me the names as uh, they are written in the um, uh, Digital Contact Deluxe version, in which, yes, it is in fact soundtrack number 5 guitar. But, it's not what they're called in the video game, which is the one I care about. Okay, so let's look up guitar. Because luckily it's not a word that comes up too much, so we can very easily... I forgot, I need to go over here. It's also not the folder. Oh, fuck. Actually, no, this is not a problem. Although, any one of you could probably, uh, backward search those words. Um, heh <laughs> that's what I want. Don't go to Maroop! Go to, don't go to the <laughs> I don't <laughs> have to cut the video, because I keep going through my file. It's like the one time I have to do this! So, let's see, where does guitar... Nowhere? Guitar? Guitar. Why is this not coming up? Oh, because it's day 32. I'm not gonna do this because. Yeah, that should link it down. God, I don't know how it does that. Okay, so it doesn't. Apparently, it doesn't work the way I thought it would. Um, so that's whoopsie snickerdoodles on my end. Um, wait, is it day 32? Oh no, it's called Basic Guitar. That's what it is. It has like three different fucking names and it annoys the shit out of me. So say it say, this is claim that this is the basic theme for... Reza. Like I said, this is a basic travel song because it shows up when Reza shows up. And then there's Sebastian and Maverick. Yeah, this is the fucking Sebastian theme when you show up at the fucking city. At the, the, the factory. Maybe in Chapter 2 it's a little bit different. No, that's Bryce showing up. That's Chapter 2's beginning. And that's Basic Guitar 2. So yeah, like I said, that's not a Dean's main theme. It just isn't. It doesn't make any sense if it would be. Um, gotta go to my video then. No, I want to go to my fucking video. I don't wanna... Okay, now I can't open my... Uh, I can't open my video manager, I think. Because if I go to my dashboard, you can see my exact earnings, and YouTube says, No, 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 you can't show that. Look at all them videos! You can see the time I upload them, according to my schedule. Ain't that exciting. You can do nothing with that, because I consistently tell what, what time it is. I'm very prudent about that. Look, all, the, all this stuff! I'm glad that none of it's gonna be anywhere near... illegal. <coughs> also, I'm glad that Como is like, man, people really should, should just... He, he, he's just kinda like, he agrees on the point that I made, and I'm glad that someone agrees, because I'm always nervous that the first person who shows up is like one of those big cry whiny babies, and I have to deal with the whiny babies the whole day. That's not the theme's main theme, it's the guitar. Um, the next one is Fireplace. Uh, let's do Fireplace, then. <laughs> oh, <that> look. <laughs> now, if this is, in fact, the shower tune, it's, it's, it's very appropriate. It's very appropriate. Also, I'm looking forward to the AMA. So far, no progress. I don't think anything has happened in terms of Mr. Shonger showing up. I get this- I- I don't know why. I just have this consistent feeling that he's watching this. Because this is like the longest ongoing fucking series on his game! I'm pretty sure he'd notice it! <laughs> I'm not very coy about my tags either. The point is, I, I- I consistently have that suspicion that he knows what I'm doing, and he's kinda watching me. One of these fucking days, either he's gonna be like, No, I never watch it, you fucking dumbass. Or he's gonna be like, Hey, I'm gonna kill you now. Whichever one it is, I'll be proud of myself. Because either I was an idiot, or I was an idiot. It's great either way.
I guess that's... Wait, aren't you already registered? Wasn't you already registered? Like, what's this about then? Um, where did she mention that again? I think it is... Uh, I think it's two that she brings this up. Or was it three? Might have been three. I guess three makes a bit more sense since there's a bit more build up. Okay, it's just an entry confirmation, I guess. So it's not an actual registration, I guess. I like this a bit more. I like this a bit more because it gives Athene so much character. It's like, oh, you silly Billy. What will they think when they see you in the, in the waiting line? In, like, the queue? Like, it's got a lot more emphasis to it. Like, I know Adine's not that kind of young, but she always gives that spry appearance. And here she's giggling. Like, she's into it. She's clearly got a certain na y youthful naivety to her, despite being 20 fucking 6. I think Remy was 24, Anna 23. None of them were 21, which is something I keep thinking! Why do I keep thinking Anna's 21? Ugh. She seems like someone who would be 21, considering what a snappy bitch she is. So someone said that I should look at the Adine uh, <coughs> extended dating mod. Sure! I'll I'll give it I'll give it a look see. Um, I'm not gonna play it because I'm not doing a playthrough and I don't feel like going through this game and 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 pinching my poor little heart. Um, I'll take a look at it. If you can provide me with a location, I can find it. And I'll go and do it. Simple as that. I'll go take a look. Now, I'm not gonna promise I'll be nice. I I'm not gonna promise that I'll be nice. Or that I'll even give it a fair chance. I'll probably walk into the door with a battering ram and go, GET DOWN ON THE GROUND! I'VE GOT A BIG STICK OF WOOD! And just start swinging. That's, that's, that's metaphorically speaking. If you can dissect that metaphor, congratulations. I don't know what it means. Oh, I love how she. I love how she's described as waddling. Ah, so cute. Waddle, waddle. Ah, oh, is there a good term to translate that into? Yeah, wachle. Oh, the word is just as cute. Wachle, wachle, wachle. I find it very annoying that the game is like, Hey, I'm gonna <coughs> I'm gonna tell you what's going on. As a GM who's trying to sort of emphasize environment, you're kind of in charge of the environment as the writer. Like, you have to define what's important and, and everything else don't. Funny thing about being a GM is that you very quickly learn that a lot of details just don't fucking matter. It's a very good way to learn. Because if, if no one's like, I don't care, then you're like, okay, I guess this... I mean, sure, it's a different kind of thing you have to tell. Like, I'm pretty sure people reading a book don't give a shit about every smell that comes into the room. But... At the same time, it, it teaches you a lot of, like, uh, overarching ideas. Like, like the theory behind writing. By having people consistently degrade and debase your writing, belittling you. Now, Tribune is a tribuna, which is, uh... I don't know, let's, let's look it up. Stand. <laughs> I 
I wonder how the facility feels about people going on the roof like that. I wonder how late she actually is. I don't think it's ever explained how late she actually is. <laughs> I don't think there's actually any artwork of her wearing that thing. <laughs> Would have been an easy thing to put in, but then you'd have to put on everything, I guess, and that's a little bit more to manage. Also, I'd like to point this out, but the way these arms work... Like, I just want to point out that the, the way this is done is, like, the cheapest possible way to avoid having to do a lot of redraws. Also, kind of strange how Adine's wing here is some sort of arcing shape, like it's a solid material, and here, there's very clearly like a bone structure holding up her arm. It's very unusual how that sh shading changes. This is hard to do, by the way. I've tried that a bunch of times. It's super hard to get that right. Like, getting, 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 getting bone structure and, like, proper elevation to show on bodies is kinda difficult! Is, Adina's like 26, and with the way that everything is established, it makes it sound like dragons get into this shit really early. Like, they, they, they are they are very full-blown adults who live their own lives by 18, the way I get it. Or at least 21. So, what the hell is Adina doing only signing in at age 26? But at this point, she's actually past her peak in terms of reflexes. Like, it feels like her age is, like, not proper. It feels like the age they put in the Indiegogo isn't accurate. Because something about those ages doesn't gel well. Like, Bryce feels... He feels too young, in some ways. Remy feels like he should be way older for his position. Uh, Anna feels like she makes sense. But at the same time, she feels young and naive enough that she feels too old. And then Adine is, like, in a position where, like... Why aren't her parents or her friends or anyone trying to help her in her situation? Like, where are those people? Where did they fuck off to? Why aren't they brought up? Like, I know that 26 is, like, the age... <clears throat> But the way she acts from time to time makes her feel like she's more of a tween than anything. Mentally, at least. Yeah, but the, another problem is Adine is the last fucking person. If she's going last, then who the hell is she throwing off by doing good?
have this mental picture of Adina actually doing the routine and crashing. Oh, it's because that's date number three. I get them mixed up. They're kind of similar setups, where it's like, let's go flying. It's kind of weird that... <coughs> like, there's one thing I gotta say is... <coughs> Adine's injury appears to happen regardless of what you do, which is very weird, because it's entirely possible to have um, Adine's second date, or her first date, on the last fucking day, and she's fine! So, Adine's cause of death is never really explored all that well. If she dies at all, I think her death is more like... She, she's like I like to imagine that on the other one she's just ashamed like she just messes up during the competition she's not dead but she's just so ashamed that she leaves town like she doesn't feel like she can do it anymore like she's broken her anxiety gets would have been better would have been better like one character doesn't die they just basically kill themselves they kill their identity more than anything that'd be nice it'd be a nice twist I mean I'm not saying Adine has to live I'm just saying that uh, it, it'd be a nice twist to have one character that doesn't actually die die Lorem drowns Bryce explodes, but that happens because of you more than anything. Um, yeah, Maverick always gets shot. Well, he usually gets shot. I think he lives to a few of them. I mean, this is kind of neat. Like, this kind of shows Adine's... Like, Adine, for the most part, comes across a little bit naive, but she clearly, like, analyzes situations very well. Like, look at this. She's analyzing the advantages and disadvantages of age. With the magazine, she analyzes the nature of the magazine and people putting effort in. With the sandcastle, she ponders the ephemeral nature of the sandcastle. Like, Adine clearly has a very strong analytical mind. Like, she considers situations very well. I don't know if that's just because the writer writes like this and it doesn't make any sense for the character, but it's interesting if that's a character trait. Like, she's she's kind of an airhead in a sense, but at the same time, she can clearly think her way out of things. So I decided to split the sentence up, it's basically still the same sentence, but um, the reason I did it is it makes the sentence a bit more bearable. Because I, long sentence is fine, but the amount of times that sentences here just get very long or they're very similar is kind of weird. Although this one's nice and mixed up. Do that, do that more. Yeah, but what kind of victory would it be? Would you get, like, first place, second place? I don't know, it never explained. I imagine they have, like, <coughs> consultation prize for fourth and fifth, considering it's a local competition. Actually, it's kind of weird that there are more newcomers in the local competition. Like, wouldn't there be, like, a, a dad with a son or something? I don't know. Unless she means, like, their first years. Hmm.
So, I understand there's scouts here, and, and like, uh, you know, that people know her, but at the same time, it's not really, like, I guess Lorem knows her. Adina's probably the most established character, as people know her, know her. Because Anna's like, she's infamous. Bryce, okay, he's a police officer, fuck it. He, he, people know him because that's his fucking job. But Remy seems to fade into the bureaucracy from time to time as a as person. Adina's the only person, but that's just Lorem, I guess. Oh, well, most people know her, because she's a livery person. <coughs> Lorem doesn't seem to have that same thing going for him, in a weird way. Just doesn't feel like... Now, then again, who the fuck knows their mailman? Especially nowadays, when they dump everything in the mail slot. Oh, that, that might be the reason. Like, maybe they just thought she was too young or inexperienced. I don't know. God, there was something I was going to look up, right? Ah, I forgot already. Ah! These things are so much stream of thought that I forget things way too quickly. Ugh. It's weird that she has that kind of bandage. I mean, here's the thing to consider is, if, if she does have the injury, why would she... Like, I understand it's dangerous, but wouldn't it be just be more interesting if her wing is, like, permanently damaged and that's why she leaves? Like, there's such a thing as, as, you're not dead, but you might as well be. And that's a sad kind of story. It's a good kind of story. Nice and punchy. It also gives you an idea as to what the fuck your, 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 your heads-up display is capable of. Like, it's able to detect when someone's emotional state is still within acceptable parameters. But when someone is effectively like, oh, they're basically dead, it's like, yep. Yeah, done goofed. Because I don't think anyone ever specifically states that she's dead. You find Remy dead. Uh, Anna's a is a victim, Lorem is reported missing, I guess he technically could not be gone, because there's a chance he never goes into the treasure hunt if you're not there, is the funny part. Uh, Bryce explodes, so you know that one, and Adina, yeah, Adina and Lorem are like the ones who aren't actually 100% confirmed, although Lorem one's kind of goofy, because again, with Lorem, it's kind of, you're the instigator in a very indirect fashion, that doesn't make a lot of sense. Ah, let's cut it here. Next time... Oh, no, Adine, don't do it. You dumb, you dumb little girl. Please, please be careful. There we go. Oh, she's so sad. She's trying her best!